now that we've gone through the purchase materials to stock workflow, the next one that we'll cover is the make to stock workflow. So make to stock is a workflow for businesses that actually have that as part of their business model, making to stock. Now do keep in mind, um, we haven't covered any of the purchase order sections or manufacturing order sections yet, but we will. Um, what I wanna say is that businesses would have two types of workflows when it comes to manufacturing. And you can use this video as a prepper course for when we get into those, but um, you could be a make to order business or a make to stock business. Meaning that if you're a make to stock business, you hold product inventory. If you're a make to order business, you don't hold product inventory. So when an order comes in, then that's when you manufacture it. So in that type of workflow, the one we're doing right now, because we're on the stock page and because we're dealing with products, this would apply to businesses that do the make to stock workflow. There are some companies that do both, meaning for example, um, you might have uh, in our manufacturing of tables use case, they might make certain parts of the product to stock, but do um, make to order for the final products. So like, for example, maybe they make tabletops and legs and they keep those in inventory. But when the sales order comes in for like a beige colored table, then they might do that as a make to order, but just taking the sub assembly parts. And that is kind of another way where you could have a hybrid setup for your business. But in the case of this example, in this video, um, we'll do a uh, make to stock workflow for product using the same methodology. We head into the products tab on the stock screen. And from here, we enter a hyphen to find the missing quantities. And we have, in this case, eight different items, or sorry, not eight, four different items uh, that have certain amount of product missing from inventory because the commitment or reorder point exceeds anything that is in stock or expected. So in this case, we have zero, zero, committed three, reorder point five minus eight. So there's absolutely nothing going on for this specific product and we desperately would need to make it. So once you punch in the hyphen, then you do the exact same workflow like we, like we did with purchase orders. And the difference is we're going to be generating a make order or a manufacturing order. And by doing so, you'll see that we have uh, eight units based on the missing amount in stock. I can change that to 10 if I wanted to, for example. And then this would generate a manufacturing order for that item. And so you can simply um, change the name, or sorry, the number for the manufacturing order. You can use the system generated version and uh, it will specify the manufacturing location based on your default. And then once this is done, you can either create an open or create and close. I'll do the create and close because at a later time we're gonna cover manufacturing in more detail. And mostly I just wanna show you the relationship that's happening on the stock page when our manufacturing order is created. And so when that manufacturing order is created, the expected quantity of 10 goes into play and then the missing excess goes into positive numbers. So it goes into the black. And um, that means that I'll have two extra against my current commitments. And if I open up the expected quantities, then you'll see here's my manufacturing order number one for the cognac colored coffee tables. And that in general is how the make to stock workflow works when it comes to creating purchase orders and when it comes to creating manufacturing orders. So when you do it this way, um, at later times when you're actually starting to work with those manufacturing orders or starting to work with those purchase orders, you would be marking them as received on the buy screen and marking the manufacturing orders as complete on the make screen when you're using Katana from the back office version, which we're currently demoing. And that pretty much sums up the basic workflows for the stock screen.